On the longest day of the year, Alaska can receive up to 22 hours of functional daylight, more rays than any other place in the United States. And in the city of Anchorage, visitors flock from around the globe to join locals in welcoming the warming season. Anchorage is the gateway to Alaska. Absolutely, you nailed it. Awesome urban life and natural beauty. It really has it all. Sounds like paradise, man. It is. The downtown summer solstice festival, it's certainly a celebration of summer. It's something we look forward to all year round. It totally meets our mission of making downtown clean, safe, and vibrant. This might be a silly question. I'm from Southern California. Yeah. Why celebrate the sun? We have a saying here in Alaska, sun time is fun time. What do you guys like more? 22 hours of darkness, 22 hours of sunlight. Sunlight. Really? Because I feel like when it's dark out all the time, you can just like sleep and you don't feel bad about it. This is it. As soon as the sun comes out, the people come out of their homes, they come into downtown and just have a good time. Fanning out from the centralized town square, John Gintu and the team at the Anchorage Downtown Partnership bring together a feast of regional flavors. You guys have a massive line here. Obviously yep. you're doing something right. What's right. the must have here? What should I order? The reindeer. The reindeer, reindeer dog. Reindeer, yes. This is a local delicacy. Specific to Alaska and Anchorage or just Alaska itself? Mostly Anchorage. Okay. Do you like it? I love it. I would come here just to play in the bubbles. Please do. Here it comes. Catch one in your mouth. Come on. Go. Go. Catch him. Catch one. <laughs> to the sun never going down. Yep. And to the party always turning up in Anchorage, Alaska. Welcome everybody to the 2018 Hero Games celebrating our first responders and military members. We've got the log carry. Woo! The farmers carry. Go, go, go! Woo! And the tug of war as well. All we do is when he says go, we just we just hold, just resist. Three, two, one, let's go! go. Oh, 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 oh. Who are you going for? Oh, APD! Good job, man. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, APD! The Summer Solstice Festival in Anchorage is all about community. Oh, good. Here, try this one. It's a celebration of the city itself. Do you like my fox? I do. Uh, what did the fox say? Fox. Am I foxy? You're foxy. <laughs> say summer solstice. Summer solstice. Woo! That is an amazing shot. That's a good one. And a chance for all Alaskans to come out of their long winter's hibernation. Are the bears just now coming out of hibernation? They came out a couple of months ago. They came out either in April or May, and they came out of their den, which is usually around 2,500 foot elevation. They've been hibernating all winter, so they're trying to put weight back on, correct? That's correct. They come to the coast and they find an area like we see here where the tide is out and they can get to the clams, clams or mussels. Once the grasses start to get green, they'll eat a lot of it. They're omnivores? They're omnivores, yeah. Off Kachemak Bay, you'll come to discover the incredibly inviting city of Homer, Alaska. The spit, a single block that juts out of the sea comes equipped with shops, restaurants, and an invitation for an up-close and personal wildlife experience provided by pilot Michael Hughes, his wife Dee, and their businesses, Alaska Bear Adventures and K-Bay Air. Wow. Aboard a wheeled Cessna 206, passengers are brought into the heart of bear country to admire these formidable and majestic animals in their natural habitat. Let's go. You guys follow me single file and we're gonna go through the grasses here, so watch your step. This is unbelievable. Hey, dude. <laughs> he is chilling. The bears behind us, the ones we see around us, what types of bears are these? Well, these are all Ursus arctis. The common name is coastal brown bear. They vary in coloration from almost black to almost white. They also have different fur lengths. They also vary in body type. Like people? Yeah, just like people. It really is amazing how they do not care at all about it. What is it about bears that's so special to you guys? It's just, it's so magical over here. I think it helps people view the world in different ways. I think it helps people just kind of connect to nature. I mean, this is a unique environment to be able to it interact is. with bears. It is. It's their place and we get to come and visit them gently and carefully. It's different every day and it's great every day. What an incredible experience. I could never get tired of this view. No. No. You don't get tired of it. No.